Evening, motherfuckers. You came to the wrong neighborhood, boy. Turn around to some other furry podcast. You don't need to be in this alley. Don't do it, boy. (laughs) Anyways. (laughs) <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to um, Claws and Convo, broadcasting from Otomo, Iowa. I don't have a special intro, so I'm just going to, like, usually I have a uh, Claws and Convo, the show that blah, blah, blah. This week I forgot to think of one, so we'll just have to say Claws and Convo, the town that's in the wrong alley. Or the, bah, the show that's in the wrong alley. Excuse my language. <laughs> so. No one cares. I am your. It's the internet. I am your tough mofo foxy host, Dante Padfoot. I am your purely evil feline host, Striker Cheekwire. And I am Liam Wolf. I'm back, baby. He's back, baby! <laughs> one podcast, one wolf. He's back, and he's pissed off. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy. I have a quote from you in my quote book, though, that says, My typical day. Wake up, do something, get pissed, go back to bed. <laughs> okay, yeah, that does sound like That's me. That's Liam Wolf. <laughs> Wake up, get pissed, go back to bed. And, uh, um, yeah, we have, we have some videos for you guys today. We have a Harlem Shake Furry video for you today, which is going to be really interesting. I'm sure some of you have been keeping up to date with all the um, Harlem Shake stuff that's been going on. But we'll talk about that later when we show videos. Right now, we have a banter segment, so we get to talk about whatever we want. So, how's your week been, Liam Wolf? Well, you know, as you all know, I've been gone for a long time, (laughs) and it has been a great week. I believe we all finished finals for college this week. Uh, Yeah, I did too. It was really stressful. It was was very stressful, but now we're done, and now... I am one term away from graduating, so I feel excited. I, I feel happy for you. Like, Thank you. Basically, I'm in acting, and I I have something we have to do called a portfolio. With, you oh, know, Liam it sucks. Wolf, it horribly. Oh. Liam Wolf knows all about this. But basically, you have this big – but they have, you have to uh, go buy a big binder and fill it up with uh, – stuff that you're spo- like work that you're supposed to do paperwork throughout the entire term and this is for acting almost every single one of us in the acting class puts it off until the last day i'm not even joking you we all get together and we work together to get it all done like they're like that thick it's crazy oh my word so much paperwork <laughs> i stayed i literally stayed up he is all the night. worst procrastinator i've ever seen <laughs> It's like, hey, you get your homework done yet? No. Why not? I've been playing Call of Duty. <laughs> That's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it, it always works out that, like, you know, um, you know, I'm just like, okay, I need to get this done tonight, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, some, then somebody like Trey or you or, you know, somebody always calls me and they're like, hey, let's go hang out. Hang out. I was like. Okay, that's <laughs> screw homework. <laughs> Speaking of which, we will be having a Mortal Kombat tournament tonight. Yes, after the podcast, we're gonna. I haven't even played the new Mortal Kombat game. How is it? Oh, let's just say I picked it up. The reason I had to get this was because I bought those brand new Turtle Beach headsets. You know, the ones where you plug in your Xbox and you can oh, listen yeah. to the game. Those are amazing. No, no, no. They're not. I got the X32 version, and the one higher up is the X42. Yeah. I bought the X32, which is the wireless set. The guy at GameStop told me they're a hit or a miss. Sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't. Had them for three days, they broke. Really? They horribly oh, crashed. How much did it cost you? 100 bucks. But let You're me finish. Are kidding me? Let me okay. finish. Due to the fact that it had only been three days, I got to take it back with the receipt. Uh, $106 in cash. Nice. Bought six brand new games with it. <laughs> Had eighteen dollars left over, reserved injustice, gods among us. That is awesome. Is. Good story. Like, Very. it's it's so cool when something like that happens. Like one time I bought a phone from, it was like a track phone or something because I used to use track phones all the time instead of having bills. So I got a track phone from a store and it didn't like I. It was after, horrible. I mean, it, it's okay, but like after I got it home, I I realized that it didn't work in my area. Which is really dumb because I bought it in a town that was like 10 miles from me, you know, because I lived out in the middle of nowhere and it's like, you, you don't, it, track phone doesn't work in this okay. area. So, 
I'm not kidding you. I literally one time had my cell cell phone and I was in one town. I t- stepped over two steps. Signal gone. Oh man. Two steps. Not making any sense. I walked wow. away. Okay, maybe there's something That's wrong. Insane. Turned off my phone, turned it back on. Still the same thing. Like, and then I walked two steps back. It works. Like, oh, I'm boy. done. So yeah, like the today's... dead cell. Yes. Yes it is. So yeah, as you might have noticed, I have a mic stand because we didn't even think about giving me a mic stand before. I just kind of held my mic, which is an insignificant little detail, but we thought you'd like it. <laughs> it's small and crappy, but it works. It works fine. This is actually the stand for a snowball mic, like one of those. Like it's it's a really good mic, but everyone has one. You know, they're like fifty bucks, and they're one of the best. It's probably the best microphone you'll ever get for fifty bucks. Because it's pretty amazing. It's the only microphone you can get for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, these ones cost me like 40 each. You but, lucky son of a bitch. Well, I mean, these aren't USB. Like, USB are more complicated. That's why. Like, these ones are analog. I, I, got, I got a dynamic USB microphone for, oh, what was it? Like, $25? Ooh. It was a natty, it's lucky a, it's bastard. It's a natty USB 24M. Nice. But, yeah, I'm going to... I'm probably going to take these sunglasses off eventually because I have to read news articles. So, <laughs> that reminds me, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. I didn't know if this was working or not. Yeah, I can see a little bar jumping up and down whenever you talk. Thank so. God. What the hell? I'm the loudest one on here. So am I. Did that blow out my, your eardrums? <laughs> my mixer just gave you the finger. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot to have my headphones on. Hold on. It is okay. And my ears are bleeding. Okay, hold on. Let me try again. Hello. Wow, that's really loud. <laughs> and you're clipping. <laughs> it's clipping like hell when you do that. <laughs> we might end what? up breaking the you machine by the end of the night. <laughs> you don't need to be so close. I got got your gain all the way up so you can. <laughs> I look that. so freaking cool. Look at this. I just look so. I look like a freaking stoner. Like whatever you say. No comment. <laughs> no stoner. Um, okay, so yeah, we also have um, Trey over at the the uh, uh, graveyard currently, and he's going to do a live report about the dog. So just pretend it's live. Let's play along. Yeah, just just pretend it's live. But we're okay. So we don't have that technology. Not quite. We're poor. Donation. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> so yeah, basically we have a video of that. There's a do- a statue of a dog in the Tomo Cemetery, and Trey. We have Trey reporting, and we're gonna tell. We're get, he's gonna tell the story of it. We have a video, which by the way, the reason Trey isn't here today, I thought he was gonna be here today, um, but he had a murder mystery at the Hotel Tomo of all things. Like you'd think, oh, he's probably just hanging out with his friend. No, he's he's at a murder mystery. And the best, what acting students do in their free time. Now, I don't know if Trey went <laughs> over this, but the best thing about him doing this interview over this statue is because his dad is actually a newscaster. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if he t- brought that up last time. He or? did actually. Oh, okay. um, he, Trey's dad is basically like a famous newscaster in, in Iowa. So people that are, live in Iowa, basically, he's the son of Marcus McIntosh from Channel Eight, which is cool. Oh yeah. I actually saw him. He was he was in my play one time, and uh, Marcus, yeah, he was there, and, he, and everyone was taking pictures with him. And I, I yeah, got to I see got him. I got a picture of him. I think I got it on my phone. I can show it later. But yeah. he's a very cool guy. Marcus is very cool. If any of you are from Iowa, he's a very nice guy. Okay, guide me to this video because it's a mile away. Oh, do we? Oh, no, we're gonna do it during the news oh, segment, actually. Okay. Yeah, we're so. Still ban- I think we're still banning right now. I don't know what the hell we're talking about, but okay. Yeah, we never know what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> Um, I guess I could bring up my experiences at the gun show this week, but um, you could actually just just tell them like a brief explanation of where you've been recently. It's uh, fine. A couple weeks ago, I was at the one the gun show in Des Moines. That is where I got majority of my stuff. Uh, the second one was here in Tomah. <clears throat> Let me tell you, I have never seen a gun show so packed. Everybody <laughs> has been fighting for ammo for weeks. Yeah, because of the Second Amendment, mm-hmm. right? Being yeah. under attack. So. Uh huh. But. I got ammo. I'm okay. Nice. And then I got my baby. <laughs> he got his knife that he can flash flash in front of the camera and be like... That does not run out of ammo. That does not run out of ammo. I, what are you talking about? I never run out of ammo. <laughs> okay, I have once, and that was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Um, I just hit a blank spot. I have to have those this week. I hate blank spots. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Blah, blah, blah. We got two emails today, I think. I think we got two emails. One of them is like somebody that sh- that linked us a video, which do we want to watch that or uh, do we want to? We, I don't think, no. <laughs> I don't think, no. <laughs> um, I, mean, I, like, I, th- I think this person might, might possibly be a spammer. Well, it, I don't think so because it's about... It's his his use this person's username is Twitter Loather. Hmm. Well, it's a video about bronies. And he, it's kind of a stupid question if you think about it. Are furries a part of the amazing brony subculture? Uh, uh no. No. We can discuss that later if you want. <laughs> we did discuss it, didn't we? We discussed it a little bit. I think it was in the first episode we discussed it. Uh, we sec- we, we said sec- something about bronies in the, the first episode. Ep- we got in, we, that was like the second or third oh, micro- oh, I episode. I talk loud enough. I'm pretty sure they can hear me. Can you guys hear him just fine? Because I'm concerned. Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> That's better. Thank you. He, uh, I'm harps- talk- talking to the top, not the side. Okay. The top. There you go. Okay. That's better. Is Are my headphones on? Yes, they are. Maybe I just can't. Okay, yes, they're on. Never mind. I just need to talk closer. Uh-huh. Welcome to Claus and Convo, the show where we talk really close and softly into the mic. You're creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Harps Kid basically said, uh, "Claps for Liam." So yeah, we get a we get a claps for Liam from Mister Harps Kid. Thank you, Harps Kid. <laughs> Andy, you you want to read us the email he sent us? Um, do we want to do that later, or do we want? Uh, let, let's do that now. Yeah, why not? I want to know. Okay. Who the, give me a clap. Why not? Okay, this is an email from a supporter of us called Harley Upshaw, and uh, he has this Harp's phone number good. here, which I read this ahead of time, so I I know not to read his number on the air. Okay, so he says, "Hey guys, watch the show, and I would love to come come to the show. I live in Albia." If you don't know where that is, you need to get out more. <laughs> I'm from Albia. I know where you are. <laughs> but here's the catch. I am only 13. That's not a big deal. No, not a big if deal If you at can all. get over this, I think, I could give some information on what people my age think of the furry fandom. If you do, let let me on email me sometime. I assume he means email me sometime this week or call me anytime between 4 and 10. And... Uh, he says, loyal, view- loyal viewer, Harps Kid. So Harps Kid was the guy that just, okay, that's his username, it's Harps Kid. Okay. So he's the one that... Uh, gave me a clap. Gave you a clap. Yeah, yeah. That sounds really wrong. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. You have a dirty mind. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you? Jeez, I thought oh, I was the one with the dirty mind. man. I'm so mad at myself. Talking to a minor like that. <laughs> Talking to a minor. <laughs> well, it's an STD. It's, oh, no, don't it's you remember? Yeah, remember yeah. Remember the first episode? So was we're all educating drunk. you. No, you're not <laughs> educating. You're <laughs> provoking. Huh. Moving on. Moving, Moving on. on. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, dude, we'd totally like to have you on the show sometime. Mm-hmm. Um, you just had... And he said on the chat a little bit ago that he just need he needs to get permission because he's young. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all cool. Yeah, just like get get permission from your parents and and yeah, we'd totally love to have you on here because mm-hmm. because we like having any and all guests and and like you said, you know, you could you could give us a viewpoint of the furry fandom from a younger audience, like you know, because because the furry fandom is is like seventy percent college students. Uh, I mean, people in the college age, and some of it is people that are a little bit older, but that's I, because I, they. I, I got into the fan about when I was about fifteen. So yeah, yeah, and, and I, I I was technically a furry before that because I was absolutely obsessed with cheetahs. <laughs> I was obsessed with foxes, and I was obsessed with Disney's Robin Hood. So I was like, "There's very something wrong movie. with me." Very good movie. <laughs> yeah, and that but scene when Bear they says, disappear like, into the bushes. We all know what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I also got a topic discussion. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we, can, no. we can just discuss this really quick. Let's see. Uh, Speaking boop, of boop, topic boop. discussions, if you have liked us on Facebook, uh, I have a uh, little poll, a poll question up there. Uh, 
with a few ideas for topics. Yes, rather we would like deep, to hear uh, insight. And rather deep philosophical type uh, <laughs> suggestions. So if you liked us on, f- if you've got us liked on Facebook or on there, and uh, yes, just ignore me. <laughs> 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 Oh boy, yeah. Uh, Liam Wolf would pr- would like if anybody ever attacked me. Liam Wolf would be like, "Oh, I'm gonna help you out, brother!" and like jump on their back and like rip their throat in pieces or something. Like, dude, this guy would be. That crazy. was only once, darn it. <laughs> only once when you ripped a guy's throat. I'm kidding. He didn't it was really nasty. do that. <laughs> Mortal Kombat is a very deadly game. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Harps Kid says, "Got to be a coyote, then you get to eat all those farm animals." <laughs> Foxes, wow. foxes eat farm animals too. I mean, chickens. You know, foxes eat plenty of chickens, just like on Fantastic Mr. Fox when they took out. And being part jaguar, you know, they've been known to eat a human heart here and there. That's pretty freaking scary. That's pretty badass. <laughs> See, of, yeah. co- of course, that was back in the you know the time of uh, the Aztecs. You know. See, yeah, I like coyotes. The Aztecs were messed up. They Dude. were actually, they were really messed Say, up. I like coyotes, but I've had Let a really bad experience with a coyote. <laughs> Trey was actually just, like last week, he told a story about him, his encounter with a coyote. <laughs> well, mine's a little bit, like, what was his? Because I didn't hear ba- it. Basically, his was, he was riding his bike. This was like last year. Mm-hmm. He was riding his bike, and uh, it was like at night, and he stopped, and there was a coyote just staring him down, like oh. right next to him. Say, so, I don't know if I want to tell mine. Mine's pretty bad. Bad as in... Like, death bad. Like, okay, I'll the coyote it. died? Uh, that's... Uh, let me get there. Okay. <laughs> so, when I, me and my grandma, were sitting on a porch in La Villa. It's 15 minutes away from Albia. Mm-hmm. And we hear this banging on the door. And we're like, what the heck is that? Mm-hmm. And I look outside the window, and there's the coyote has all my brand new kittens. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I've got nothing against it, and I won't say what happened the next day. Did you guys hunt it down and kill it? We hunted down, I think, at least 20 to 30 coyotes that day. Oh, snap! It was just me and my dad, either on a hill or in the woods. <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, I'm not an Looks animal like rights person, cats. Thing, so I wouldn't... Yeah. Out of the bag. I mean, I felt bad. Oh, oh. Ah! Yeah! dun da da Bomb! <laughs> yeah, back to the happy stuff. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> the Another Claws and Convo moment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I need more this show that overuses references. Overuses references. Yes, it does. But they're good references, so you can't... Very good, references. Very good well-timed references. Well timed. That was perfectly timed. <laughs> I almost, I almost want to go back and watch the video. <laughs> Holy well. cow, that was awesome. <laughs> Later. All right. What's this thing we got that we got to look up here? Um, I'm not sure if we have time for it. Oh, okay. I guess I can just say it because it's not a huge deal. It's just kind of worth mentioning. So uh, a couple days ago, I was listening to the radio, and they, were, they had like a short, brief news thing. And they said that the University of University of Oxford Oxford just did a study where they found out that dogs' brains are much much more developed than felines, like cats, because of all the years of relations with humans. You know, their their brains have slowly developed into much smarter. Mm-hmm. So technically, now dogs are smarter than cats. What kind of cats? House cats. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, I was just at Fort Madison. You should see those canine units mm. trained. Oh, I'd I'd imagine they're pretty crazy. Like canine units. I mean, ever ever seen a, a cheetah drag an antelope's head under the water and drown it? I saw the video. That's I want to see. Insane. I want to see a dog do that now. If I can see a wolf do it, that'd be insane. This is gonna be a fight here. Jaguar, jaguar, cheetah, cheetah yeah, hybrid. A, a going simple. Versus wolf, I want to see who's gonna win this one. It's a, they're like foxes. They're just they just they just kind of just. I got there. I got a few hundred pounds on you there. <laughs> I've got a pack. Hmm. Now yeah. I got strength in numbers. I just I'm just gonna retreat to my den and run away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but love, striker. Nothing but love. <laughs> 
Uh, Liam Wolf. We'll just gain up good. on the Fox. It's <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Liam Wolf. It really is. It's good to be back. I miss this. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, because like, it's it's good to have you know regular guests and stuff. Like, it, I, we're actually thinking about, for those of you who don't know, we're thinking about having Trey as a regular guest. Like, uh, actually, we're turning him into a host because yes. because from popular demand, people like him. Wait, is he going to become a furry now? No, there's no way for Trey is a furry. That son of a bitch. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, still well. love him, though. I met one of Trey's friends when I went to Des Moines, though. Wait, wait, wait. Him. Not going to be a furry. Not for long. Not for long. Join us. One of us. One of us. One of, one one of, of us. us. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to brainwash he, him. He's an otter. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Otters. Actually, oh, something else I got to say. I also found out. <clears throat> oh God. Yeah, Hematite Bear says, yes, he is an otter. He just doesn't. Oh, you just said that. Well, yes. Duh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm reiterating the chat <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. I have the chat open, so I'm I'm helping too. So, because like we don't we don't usually have the chat open very often, and people always I'm say something that we on miss. A laptop. Yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, this is my sister's laptop, so I <laughs> okay, so I'm not poor. <laughs> I have no room to talk. <laughs> oh, speaking of otters, okay. So I also found out that otters. When they sleep, they hold hands so they don't drift apart from each other. Aww. And I, I saw a picture of this. In fact, here, let me pull out this picture and you show it to the camera, Liam. This is one of the most adorable things I have ever heard of. They seriously hold hands when they sleep so they don't drift apart from each other. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. That's so cute. <laughs> it's so adorable. Like, I just want to snuggle them. Man, I'm turning into a woman. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, boy. So shout out to... A guy I know named uh, Edward Bartow that might be watching. He said he would he would watch. Oh. Yeah, I mean he he um he he can't watch it tonight, but he said he he'll probably watch the recorded version. Okay. So Edward Bartow, you're cool. Just just because you're watching this, so just thought I'd let you know. Shout out to Mr. Edward Bartow. Mm -hmm. So continuing on, um, that's so cute. Okay, I got it out. <laughs> I've got no words for that anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of things I say that you have no comment towards. Just, just hide in your hole. That's all I ask. Hide in your hole. I'll send the Jack Russell in after you. <laughs> um, I want yeah. Jack Russell on this show. <laughs> That'd be great, actually. Jack Russell versus Fox. Jack Russell versus Fox. The Jack Russell would kick my butt. Because foxes are vicious, but they're not very big. Like They're just they're, little... They're just tenacious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That they always have, like, did you know that when foxes have babies, they they bring in two other vixens that they have never met to help care for the baby? Isn't that weird? Takes a village. <laughs> yeah, that's so interesting, though. Oh, um, what would you guys think about having an animal facts section? Just, I just recently have been thinking about this because I just thought about this, like you know. That it'd, be, do it'd, that. Be, it'd be good for the slow days. It would be because like be very, the days. And I mean, it would also help people that are confused about what kind of animal they want to be. If they need questions for us, we can give them more facts about the animals that they uh, secret stuff that they don't know about the animals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like for me, every dog. I don't know if how many people know this, but every dog that's on the planet has some wolf in them because it's a generation that's wolves were first and then just went down generation generation so there's always a different type so they even though they say purebred well there's still somewhere in there yep. so there's got to be a wolf mm -hmm. even a chihuahua humans guided their evolution <clears throat> fucking chihuahuas <laughs> if it vibrates it should not be called a dog it vibrates <laughs> no, vibrates it, when it barks it's I a mean, fucking I'm sorry. bouncing beanie baby that's what the it's hell like, it is it's like this I met a chihuahua once and I swear to god this was the funniest fucking thing I took off my shoe it decided to smell in my shoe <laughs> what? I still was able to wear my shoe that's how small this fucking dog was <laughs> I hate chihuahuas that's, 
<laughs> let, 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 are so let's design a slingshot for that fires those. A Thank trebuchet. you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Oh boy! Slingshot into the Grand Canyon. I swear we're not uh, evil. Well, we can, we can, we can no, use them as no, weapons. We're not promise, as evil as we sound. I promise you, this is a joke. We're not really going to do this to Wallace. Yes, we will. What? Who said that? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on the news. Okay, hold on. Before we go, I'm going to stand up and show my shirt off. Look at this. It's the Blues Brothers poster that they were posting. Like, Look away from the camera now. What? What? <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> it's like it's the one that says, like, tonight only, the Blues Brothers rhythm and blues review, you know. It's awesome, so. I wish they would just come to Iowa. Yeah. I, I wish we could have any any good band come to Iowa for once. Yeah, I mean, like, well, Journey and Heart were at the Iowa State Fair, like, a couple of years ago. Like, you know me, I'm a big country fan, but my artist that I love never get to come to Iowa. And I, I, I want to see Men of War. Yes. Oh. Men at War, that would be good. Um, of course, I, you're all going to think I'm weird. The band that I want to see the most come to Iowa is Evanescence. Actually, I that'd am, be kind of cool. I am a huge Evanescence fan. I love them. Because I remember one time I was going to get to go to a concert with them for a big Christian concert. Mm-hmm. I was so excited. The poster said Evanescence and Skillet. I'm like, yes! Oh. Both of them. Well, it turns out there was another uh, convent- Winter Extreme concert going on in another state. They got Evanescence. We got Skillet. Oh. I, well, was, I like Skillet. Oh, I like Skillet, They're but okay. I was so heartbroken. I wanted Evanescence. Yeah. yeah. Okay, to, no. okay, let's get... Let's get to the news. Yes. Oh, already? Oh. Let's do it. Tonight on Claws and Convo. Horse semen. <laughs> With your anchors, Dante Padfoot, Striker Chiguar, and Liam Wolf. This is Claws and Convo News. Bam! Shazam! Love that. So, um, for the very first part of our news articles, we'd like to go... And Hematite jumps through the internet and strangles you in three, two... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a bad one. So Inside first, joke. <laughs> so so the, first, the first thing we'd like to show you is... Uh, let's go live to Trey McIntosh, who is in the graveyard of Atumwa right now. So... The- it's oh, hold on. It's the f- top one, yeah. I believe it is. Uh, no, I, I have I have to volume. switch the source. Get the volume on my <laughs> And this this is why we we need another monitor so we don't have to. Yeah. This. We we I think we should start like moving the monitor closer. Yeah. Like Tactical no, we, we just need another monitor so I don't have to switch windows. All okay. Keep switching windows. We need one screen, Actually, that's a good screen, idea. I just need to get another monitor because I would like to have another monitor. Like, because I'm a PC gamer, so. I'll tell you what. I'll look around for another monitor and I'll <laughs> find you one. Dude, that'd be great. Okay, so you got, you got it up. Yeah. We okay. Get, we let's get. go live to Trey McIntosh, who's at the Tumwa Cemetery. Hey, Turn it up. I feel like my hair's in We're on. Oh. oh. Hi, this you're live with Trey McIntosh in the Atumwa Park, where we have the famous dog statue. This dog is famous because uh, it, it was discovered when the, the owner died that the dog would continue to come to its grave, uh, the its owner's grave, and just kind of watch, you know, and in, in hopes of the return of its owner. And uh, no one understood why the dog did this, but when the dog finally passed away years after its owner had passed away, they gave it this grave right here. As you can see, there's a package at its feet. Many people uh, bring presents and such to the location. They uh, kind of, to honor the dog, a cool fact about the dog is a lot of times at night when you're driving from uh, the, the BP, like, towards the college you'll notice that if you watch the dog its head will follow you as you go by it's really neat take it away austin thank you trey cool story bro <laughs> that is a really cool story like that that it dog. is it i mean 
there are nights where I drive by and it's like all I see is that dog. Yeah. Like, so we can like Liam and I can switch off and then I can I can give um, you the li- striker. I can give you the link to one of the news articles if you want to read them. But um, <clears throat> I got a couple articles here. The first one we have is are fish getting high from drug waste? <laughs> I'm going to take my glasses off just for the news articles. Thank you. Fish are becoming fearless, gluttonous, and associal, associal, yes, due to the pharmaceutical waste, according to a new study that links these behavioral changes to something as seemingly harmless, harmless as a person flushing a toilet. That is because many drugs are excreted from the body's, in, our body's intact, such as the potent medicine residues wind up in wastewater, where they can affect fish. Fish exposed to human drugs may not seem like an ecological disaster, but it can be, according to the paper published in the latest issue of Journal Science. Do, 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 do. Flushed fish invading oceans. For example, fish eat zooplankton's that turn, uh, uh, that it in turn eat algae. Co-author Michael Johnson, that's really weird, J-O-N-S-S-O-N, told Discovery News, if the feeding rate of zooplankton increases because because the fish become more ex- efficient in feeding, you get an increased amount of algae. This may lead to oxygen depletion of the aquatic system and a higher risk of algal blooms. Well, algae blooms. Algal blooms. What do you think algae of this article? Blooms. Interesting. It is interesting. I I also noticed how it said stonerfish. Stonerfish, yeah. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Bill Engvall's Dorkfish. <laughs> I never actually saw that. It was very hilarious. Dorkfish. Nice. Where's your corn dog under the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you got some medical waste. Like, I really want to get high right now. Oh, I could really use to like dude, something to inject in water, my- dude. It's like colorful. It's I was gone for so 10 colorful. minutes. I don't know what they were doing while I was gone. It tastes like pink. <laughs> this water's so colorful. I could really use something to ingest in my gills right now. I got a guy in the other ocean over there that could hook us up, man. <laughs> Nemo gone psycho. <laughs> Anyways, I also noticed how it said that um, because many drugs are excreted from our bodies intact, which means, like, you know, the stuff that we... Um, you know, excrete it out, can go to the ocean, and they can quite, uh, digested all mm-hmm. the way. Yeah, and they can get high off of that. We can get high off of that. Did you know, like, that a guy died from taking, like, crapping in a bucket and holding his head over it and trying to get high off of it? It killed him. Worst description <laughs> ever. I'm going to throw up here. Soon. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't yes. need to hear that one. Hi, Josh. What are what? you doing? What do you want? You want to come in here and say a few words? No, I'm just seeing you don't. You just just peeking in. Seeing how you doing. <laughs> it's my your, good your buddy Josh. Done. My what? Your dish is done. My dish. Your chip dip. Oh, cool! We got chip dip. Are you guys jealous? Yes, you are. This time it's not going to be us that's jealous of Hematite Bear. It's going to be Hematite Bear jealous of us. <laughs> we got chip yeah, dip. Yeah, buddy. Mofo. <laughs> Oh, anyway. We talk about him too much. We do. He's our biggest supporter, though, and he really helps us out a lot. Like, yeah. and he posts links to like he promotes the show and stuff. And he's he's a regular viewer, and I really appreciate that. We I appreciate it. people when have when people have commitments to the show. You know, like him, yeah, him, and awesome. bo- both him and uh, Harley Upshaw are both both real cool about. Yeah, that. Harley, Harps kid, my supporter, yeah. Harps kid, yeah, my man. I'm going to put the sunglasses on again. How for Pete's sake. I love the sunglasses. <laughs> I look like John Lennon. <laughs> All right, next uh, news article. Do we? I mean, we want to stretch it out at least a little bit. Okay. Because, <laughs> um, uh, how should I? So, how, like, any other comments about this? Let me see if there's anything else anyone said. Uh, do, do, do. That's really all it is. I mean. Well, I mean, I can see from the scientific standpoint yeah fish are going to get high of course mm-hmm. i wouldn't deny i'd love to see a freaking shark get high i mean that would be that awesome would, uh, i don't know should i i don't I know <laughs> then then they get the munchies and it, <laughs> yeah, it'd, they be, it'd killed, be a mess that's actually a okay yeah now that i think about it it's, it's a okay thing. hey striker yeah. it's okay 
We'll feed them foxes. What? <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> you guys are mean. I'm sorry. I would say deer, but I'm pretty sure we have deer that people that like deer. If I okay, if I wasn't a fox, I'd be a I'd be a deer. That's the thing. Yeah, deer. deer are, deers are tastier. <laughs> yes, they are. Well then, um, I don't. Um, no. How do How you many, know? Have you ever tried fox? Yes. No, I haven't. You tried fox? I think if I'm right. No, you haven't. I have. What the? They don't have any meat on them. Yes, they do. Look at me. I have no meat on my body. It's called legs. <laughs> Actually, I do have masculine legs. <laughs> I could just imagine what Jordan would say from that. Did, you, did I tell you? Okay. Were you there when you saw me wearing skinny jeans? Yeah. I, I wore did. freaking skinny jeans, and I rocked them. Do you know what, your, what Jordan did after he saw you wear skinny jeans? He called your brother. He did? He called up. Uh, Actually, Wesley knows. Yeah, he called Wesley, and he's like, do you know you got to help your brother? You're like, He's like, why? Your brother's wearing skinny jeans. So what? I mean, I think I, they look good. And immediately after he said that, I snapped at Jordan. Jordan, you wore a Green Bay Packers hat. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Thank Enough you. Said. Thank you so much for sticking up for me. Anyways, I I like them because they have a distinctive look. Like you know, it's different from just regular jeans. They actually look. Really good on yeah, They look really good on me. Can make some them people work. can pull them off. Like, if I wore them, it would look really bad. But, I mean, if uh, if Watson or Stryker wore them, it'd be no problem. It would yeah, look great. Because we're slender guys. Man, I can't use You all just can't have my muscle structure. <laughs> exactly. Oh, here's, a, here's a, like a, a side article over here that says, Why coffee doesn't go in your butt? What the heck? Hold on. Man. <laughs> hey, Austin, you want to put this down? Herb, Herb's get, uh said in chat, uh, he's asking if we protest in Des Moines against fur trappers. Against fur or, trappers? Or if we, or if we uh, heard, if we heard, heard about them. I haven't heard anything. I, I haven't heard anything about that, but honestly, I'm, I'm not like animal rights activist in any way, really. <laughs> I mean, I, I, obviously, I don't like cruelty to animals. Like, that's just inhumane. No, no, no. Cruelty to animals, saying, but... But I'm saying I, I believe in hunting, you know, because we've been doing that for, you know, who I knows mean, how long. So... Uh, I, 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 the way I um, see it is, you know, if you got you to kill, you got to grill what you kill. You know? Yeah, yeah. That, that's... I mean... Otherwise, it's just a waste of meat. I hunt. And, yeah. I hunt, so and, there's no problem. Uh, like I said, I'm not trying to like no, you know, I mean, like, bring anyone down that likes animal rights and stuff. No. And you, and you're still that's still a life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No matter I, how no, you I see mean, it, I can understand going after some animals. That's just not right. Like going after like tigers, jaguars. Yeah, oh I, yeah, definitely. Foxes, I can care less for. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> I, am, I am. I am. I'm. I'm against uh, hunting predators. Yeah. In general. Because the there's really and, no unless, reason. Unless they're trying to kill you. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously. And, or if they, like, the only way I can understand is attacking a predator, like you said, if they try and attack you. Or if they attack a village. Or if they attack, like, or if they escape from the zoo and they're trying to attack somebody. That's the bottom line. That's when you do it. It's when you take care of it. Now, if they're just standing there minding their own business, leave them. Like, mm. it, don't provoke the animal. Oh, well, it provoked. Oh, well, oh, it attacked me for no reason. No, you had to do something to provoke the dang thing. They're not going to attack for no reason. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's darn. here's I, something that Harp's kid said. He said two people sat in a bed wearing only underwear, holding a sign saying "Fur out, love in" outside in downtown Des Moines. That's crazy. I mean, like like crazy awesome. You know that people are so passionate they, were they about standing that. Standing in their underwear. They were laying on a bed. Okay. Or they they were sitting in a bed. I mean, okay. so was it's it, like was, a, it, was it Peter? Maybe was it Peter? <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, I don't mind animal actor animal rights activists. I think I'm glad that they're passionate about it and stuff. But Peter, but Peter, Peter goes too far. They're batshit crazy. They they walk up and splash buckets of paint on somebody if they're wearing fur. Seriously, they do. It's insane. It's like for one, is it fake? If it is, whoop de doo. But, I mean... And if it's real, then they are uh, hypocrites. Yeah. Uh, essentially. I mean, I'm, I mean, why get upset about that? I mean, our ancestors wore fur to keep warm. And, and yep. here's another thing. <clears throat> you, you notice they, n- they never bother anyone wearing leather 
Yeah, because leather is basically the same thing. Bikers, yeah, because yep, they me. will just absolutely just yeah, they're just. I mean, yeah, they're and, pansies. And I'm, a, and I'm, I'm That's a, it. I have they're a lot pansies. of leather equipment because yeah. I. I mean, for people that love animals, you know, I understand. I mean, we all love animals. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if we see somebody wearing fur, we see like I know hunters. Mm-hmm. I mean. And I'm totally, I'm totally for people that protest cruelty to animals. Like oh, yeah. I said, you know, I mean, like you all know, I'm going in law enforcement. That's one of my big things. Stop animal cruelty. Cause yeah, like, yeah. Don't attack something if it can't defend itself. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen. Unless you were going to eat it. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I believe like, in hunting. That's the thing. Like you know? I've seen pictures of puppies, kittens, all that stuff, and it's not right. It yeah. Makes, it makes me sad, and it makes me mad every time I see it because I just want to find the person and take care of this. But like, if you're hunting, you know. For all those that hunt, I'm giving you this, and you all know the same thing. Do it quick. Get it over with. Don't put any more pain in the, than the creature needs. We've had that too many times where we've accidentally missed, hit the deer or something in the leg, and it runs off. Yeah, we that's not good. immediately go after it and try and take yeah, care of it. Yeah, because you can follow the blood trail, too. I mean, and, I've, I've heard stories a lot like this because I, I mean, used to be, like, really good friends with someone who was a hardcore hunter. Like, he went every deer season and camped and stuff. So I know this stuff. Like, I hate when we hit a deer with a car because it's sitting there in pain and there's no way, there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. And it feels bad. That's upsetting, really. But, I mean, just always. That's, well, it's it's good to have a concealed carry just for one of those, just to put them out of their misery. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. (laughs) But, yeah, Harps Kid says um, uh, they do if if they know it's real leather, trust me. So I guess I didn't really know that. And then <laughs> Hematite Bear says, Is using real fur for your fursuit okay then? Do people use real fur for fursuits? If uh, you can, if you can think of it, done. it happens. That's I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. I mean, like... It's not a very popular thing because, you know, it's like... Well, how are you going to wash it? That we yeah, because a lot of furries are know. animal rights how activists. How are you going to so. wash it? That's what I want to know. If you make a fursuit out of real fur, how are you going to wash yeah, it? It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's hard I mean, enough to... It's, it's not um, almost impossible to wash a little non-real fur. I mean, yeah, because like fursuits, people don't generally wash them unless, unless they smell, you know. It's like it's, it's Febreze. I, yeah, yeah, Febreze, it just, that's Febreze all you need. Air. Huh, show it to Walmart. I have a crate full of Febreze. What's that for? Don't you want to know? <laughs> you will never guess. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, actually, uh, Strecker's getting a fursuit I pretty want, soon. I want one. You want one, but they can't afford one. No, oh. if you is it going to be a partial or a, fur, a full uh, one? Probably a f- partial. Okay, I like partial fur suits. Actually, I actually like them better than than the full ones. Say, so, I would love this for mine. I would just love the paws of yeah. the fur suit. That's what I would love. The I, that's most. what a lot of people do. They just get the paws and, now, of course, and the me, feet too. Me being stupid, I'd take it to a whole new level and make retractable claws. <laughs> a lot of people do stuff like that. People have talking jaws. Yeah, but those are expensive. They they are very expensive. Yeah, um, Harp's kid says make um, one; it'll be a lot cheaper. I'm I'm wanting something like sort of along lines Harper, of like a you're a great work. guy, but you see what us you three. So, we are poor college clock students. Work, or, uh, yeah, some of them have really complicated like uh, clockwork uh, and stuff. Yeah, that's actually not a uh, first suit maker. Okay, from, uh, I forgot where, but so let's just take Midwest. a second here. I I want to try this. All of us describe what we would love our fantasy fursuit if we could make it. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. We could take a second yeah. to do this. Okay, so we'll start with Striker. What is uh, your fantasy one? Uh, one that doesn't get to a thousand degrees inside. That yeah. A, a, one a, with a good a, ventilation yes. or something. Built in stomach uh, refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> That'd be great. That like, would be great. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you could only fantasize. Aside from that, uh, yeah, it'd be one of my, uh, my fursona. Uh, mm-hmm. Jaguar, uh, King Cheetah, Jaguar hybrid. You know, in other words, badass. Yes, badass. <laughs> Super realistic. Uh, Hematite Bear says AT- AC cooling, ice yes. packs and ice packs and biscuit fans. <laughs> 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 oh my word! Uh, he also said earlier, he's like, we could make, we could do one for Striker. There are a lot of stray cats here. Oh! oh. <laughs> Makes me sad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but, oh, what would yours be? 
So I'm I'm not really into fursuits. Like I love I love watching people with fursuits. I'll, I'll you know but like, I mean, that's a really it, nice fursuit. But this fursuit. is just a, like if you were going. If I to. were to get one, um, if I would, it would be a partial. And uh, let's see, what was I going to say? I'd like a clockwork fursuit if I could. Like uh, clockwork fursuits are mm. amazing. You know, there's and one there's one strip fursuit maker that's. Yeah. Uh, Kita. Yeah, we got off the news really cool. quick. Yeah, I, I I met her at the at the uh, Cedar uh, Rapids meet. Yeah. The, her Oracle is awesome. Yeah, I, she came in with a fursuit suit later. Like it was incredible. She yeah. we know someone that's like just across the border of Minnesota. I, you said I think so, I think Minnesota. And she she we have met her before. She makes fur suits that are almost as good as clockwork fur suits. It's like considered the best in the world. And they had fans built in. Yeah, awesome. most uh, hematite bear says most makers are on a eight to sixteenth month month uh, backlog. So, yeah. And that. Anyways, if I were to have a first thought, I'd have strategically placed holes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no comment. Don't well, do that, but you're there. a sick person. You're going to hell. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. The Grim I'm just Reaper kidding. would literally want to hold Jeez, your hand. Jeez, calm down. I'm just kidding. I'm joking with you. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay, I'm done. Anyways, so if you were to have a fursuit, what would it be? I'm not going to have a fursuit. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> okay, okay. I the same okay, thing. Okay. you got to say something okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Well... I don't really know if mine's a fursuit, but I'd like to have the traditional, you know, warrior one where you have your symbol, what yours is, you have the cloak of that. Mm-hmm. You have that on. But if I had to go full technical and everything, see, I've played a lot of football, so I know how to do the walk on all fours real easily. Mm-hmm. So, oh, cool. Like a quad suit. Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah, those are They cool. are very cool, actually. And I would love one just for this aspect. I would like to make mine more realistic because, as I said, I go to college. I have to create my own humor sometimes. I would love to make a werewolf suit. Oh, that'd be great. Because oh, if yeah. I didn't even pick wolf wolf, I was going to be a werewolf. And mm-hmm. I try to make that also part of my persona once I, when I can. But so would you have a partial or a full, whichever one? Because like, a partial basically is the, the whole fursuit except without the body. Mm-hmm. Like it's the arms and the head and the feet, but no body. Yeah, I could probably go with that one. But it, it actually looks really natural. Like, it actually looks better than you'd mm-hmm. imagine. But see, I would like one where I could change, where I could click a button and the eyes would change colors on me. So, oh, like, yeah. during the day, it'd be, like, a white. And then, like, at night, I could switch in from red to yellow and just hide in the bushes. That would just, be so just, cool. <laughs> scared the crap Like, they, they make fursuits like that all the time. <gasps> like, ones, ones that change. I, they have ones that, like, flash eyes, too. Okay, I don't want flash eyes. I just want... Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm saying that they make fursuits like that, you know? Because I would... Okay, people, you'll understand. I'm a jokester. I love to play. I love pranks. I mean, there are some things I shouldn't do, do, but I do them anyways. But that would be the coolest thing, just hide in the bushes. That would be insane. Because if you've ever been to Indian Hills, it's surrounded by woods. So it is. I'm Bushman. Yeah. There's a lot of deer that run through Indian Hills. You have no idea. There are so many deers. Me and some buddies, one year, one night, we were bored, so we decided to go for a walk around campus. Well, we walk out, and there's deer just everywhere. <laughs> you heard one with the bulls, we ran with the deer. Uh, nice. Link in chat. Condorioncreations.dmiad.com. Oh, that's, nice. uh, that's the That's uh, the first thing maker that I was okay. talking about. So I think we should move on to one more article. Yeah, we, we kind of got off of that. Yeah, it's... I, I know you guys don't well, mind we too need, much. We needed a topic to talk about. We so did. That it, that was good. That yeah. was good. Actually, we have a lot to talk about. We actually have way too much to talk about this. You week. know, it doesn't matter because <laughs> I saw, up. I've seen it. We, <laughs> you guys did it for 135 minutes. That is the longest episode. Let's actually, see if we no, can we did break it for that. like two and a half hours last week. Well, let's see if we can break it. Well, no, we, we, we can't today because the Friday, Friday night tech, tech is goes on today. at seven. So All we right, gotta, let's go. We got about next another week, hour and ten minutes. Next yeah. week will be a long one. Next week will be a long one because we'll have a lot of topics. Because I'm going to save uh, the topics that we have Say, that are, like really deep for next week because mm-hmm. I had a lot of topics this week. Actually, I yeah. wish I could be here, but uh, I could. But I got to find a way to get back to Albi. Yeah, that's the only problem. So here, I'm going to link um, a or sorry, I'm going to copy a link. 
for one of my news articles here and give it to Stryker. Are we out of coffee? Yeah, I'm coffee. afraid we are. I'm sorry. Damn it. So, here, I'm going to private message you. Uh, hang on. No, don't, don't private message me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up the, uh, the, uh, stu- the studio, studio thing in chat. Yeah, let me, let me oh, well, what I mean is that, like, the, I'm, I'll post the link after after we get this, but it's kind of a spoiler alert thing. So, ah. so I'm going to go ahead and give this to you. Spoiler alert. reminds me of a teacher. <laughs> we told him that he was, spo- he was doing a spoiler alert. Because he was telling us about oh, wait, teacher. He we, he was telling us about a movie. Why do I have to read this one? Well, because do you, I'm all the way over here. Do you not want to read it? Because we can have someone else read it. You read it. Do yeah, you want you me to read, read it? it? I will. <laughs> He's excited about this one. I'm not reading this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying away from it. This is his okay. topic. This is his favorite topic. This is Ladies, what he thinks about every night. Shut up. Okay, this is the kicker today. This is the news story that we'll be talking about for a long time, okay? Just like last week we had the gay dog one, and I can tell you about this. But, like, this is the kicker, okay? His favorite dog. You ready for this? Horse semen shots to be offered at food festival. Just, just let that soak in for a just while. Just wondering, were you in New Zealand? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Because <laughs> how'd you find out about this? Um, okay, I was in the I was in the Fur Affinity forums. There's something and that you haven't this. been telling us. I <laughs> mean, there was that period where I was gone for a while. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> I drove to Des Moines. Okay, wink. guys, stop making wink, fun wink. of me. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Say, <laughs> so, wait, don't you have a farm with horses? Yeah. Okay, making sure. Screw you! I should have said no. <laughs> I hate you guys. Okay, we, let me read. You. Let me read the article. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down. Okay. Foodies in New Zealand are taking unusual gastronomic delights one step farther this year at their annual festival by, <laughs> by adding horse semen shots to their menu. The equine delicacy will be served at the Wild Foods Festival in Hakatika next month, along with raw scorpions, chocolate-covered beetles, and deep-fired grubs. Did you just do what I think you did? Oh did god, you gargle? Yes. Oh my god! Oh, for those god. of you who are somehow listening on through audio only for somehow, um, oh. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bad. Oh, oh my god! Oh shit! I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Oh, oh, buddy. Man. Thank you, Striker. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Either way, back to your uh, horse okay. story. <laughs> Seeing as he just gargled it. <laughs> that was a memorable moment in Claws and Convo, if I'm there ever was one. I'm going to have a headache by the end of the night. <laughs> Okie doke. Let's see. Okay. This, this is why you don't provoke me. <laughs> <laughs> Racehorse breeder Lindsay Carlis. Carl's sake, uh, came up with the idea and said the semen, the semen shots would taste like flavored milkshakes. Yes, chocolate and vanilla and washed down with an energy drink. Oh my. <laughs> Festival organizer Mike Keenan said he expects many iron stomach food lovers to sample the shots on a dare. That is Ooh. incredibly, okay. incredibly well, well, Let's start gross. with this. Yes or no? Would you do it? No. We already know you, yes. Shut the... No. <laughs> well, you're going to make me pissed off, man. Okay. Dude, stop it. Yes or no? No. Okay. Oh, and in some, in some places, uh, bull tes- uh, fried bull testicle is a delicacy. But see, that's yeah. different, though. It's cooked. It's exactly. like meat. And that's yeah. meat. This is... This is bodily this is fluid. Just, this is just nasty. Like, it's... It is nasty. Those, I can't even imagine. Those that want... I think it's a centaur, isn't it? What? It's a centaur, isn't it? Half What's horse, half human? Yeah, that's a yeah. That's If a you centaur. want that, there we go. We're going to have... Oh, my it. word. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I don't... Okay. As far as I know, you can't get pregnant from swallowing semen. Who said they were swallowing it? Turkey baster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> Moving on. You fit the story. <laughs> Are you crying? 
I'm just gonna just gonna sit here and soak that in for about ten minutes. Does somebody want to read a different story? Here, you read it. You read one of the stories up there. Just pick one. I'm gonna be silent for about ten minutes. Okay, okay. Uh, oh. Let's see. Let's see what this one is. Oh wait, that's the actual website. Oh, I think you're. Are you okay, there, buddy? You okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go with this one. Al makes 140 mile trip stuck in SUV grill. <laughs> oh. All right, a great honored Al. I think I'm to- okay now. Okay, you can read the damn story then. All right. Well, we want to get Let's Strike a read one. Yeah. Do you do you want to read? I'll, one? I'll read this one. Okay. okay. Do you want me to link you the? Yes, in the P uh, P M A that stuff. I don't my uh, I don't read well for some reason. I always <laughs> seem to read out loud, and always ends up coming out something completely different. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, Habitat Bear says he could bartender there. This is oh man. <laughs> uh, he uh, Danny the Border Collie. Oh, he's back. Nice to see you again. He says Danny. delicacies are false. They are just the customs way to get foolish tourists to eat that stuff. That's true, actually. Well. Well, kind of true. I mean, some some places are legit delicacy, mm-hmm. but some of them really do just like, hey, eat this dog crap. What's the name of that? Uh, sh- is it Man vs. Food? Yeah. I, he needs I, to go there then. Oh, my goodness. That's a good idea. Yeah. I haven't actually seen um, Man like, vs. Food. But I've, I've seen Man vs. Food, but my favorite by far is uh, grills, diners, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah. Yada, yeah, yada. Yeah. So I'm just going to take my headphones off because I don't necessarily need them. No. I'm going to put my sunglasses back on. And I'm going to log in the uh, studio. Facebook. T- into uh, Ustream so I can show everyone this cute little picture. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're done for news for now. <laughs> um, well, we, we, we do we, have another hour before we have to quit. Like, we, we as long as we quit right before 7. Oh. So, um... Do <coughs> I, I mean I would like to read this article? It's pretty interesting. Actually. Yeah, I've been reading. It'll it. take me like two, like two minutes to yeah. get this thing. We have to entertain you for a couple minutes. While oh, are you we... putting the picture up? Yeah, I got. Oh, okay, good. I got to get into chat so I can pee okay. him. So while he's doing that, what can we think about? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, if you guys, just so you know, I I'm guessing the last half hour. We're going to open up the chat, or not the chat, we're going to open up the Skype channel Yes. and have you call in. And, you know, uh, Striker's a little bit busy right now, but, but when he's ready, we can show you the name and we can flash it on screen for the uh, Skype name. But uh, once we hit, like, 6.30, the 6.30 mark, we can open up the chat, the, uh, we mm-hmm. can log into um, our... Skype. Mm. I, I don't know why I always forget that word. We can log into Skype and you guys can uh, call us and just either give us a shout out or you can just like a really quick, uh, hey, enjoying the show, et cetera, et cetera. Just do what you want. Just say. Well, of course they're enjoying the show. I'm yeah, back. of course they're. Like, why would you not enjoy this show? Exactly. I mean, I mean come on. Like, come on, dude. I went too far. To <laughs> <laughs> give it on the down low. <laughs> You guys don't hate me for going. So, how are you so doing today, Austin? I'm doing excellent. Thank you for asking. Good. Are you okay. sure you're not going to be sick? I'm thinking about that those horse semen okay, shots uh, is going to make me let's sick. Let's do this. Or are you thinking about horse the semen baster? shots and turkey basters? Oh, God, God, no. no. I think he'd rather enjoy the turkey baster. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna. Okay. Okay. That's yeah, enough. Yeah, that's good. enough of the horse. That's freaking what? me out. I'm getting upset. I mean, do you want? Do you want me to give you a hug? <laughs> yes, I would like a hug. Okay. Come here. Oh, oh, nothing okay. but love. Nothing but yeah, love. Nothing but love on the show. You may see me give him crap, but it's all out of love. It is until I beat him in Mortal Kombat tonight. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Probably not. I suck horribly. I don't think so. My roommate put. Po- I asked my roommate to play with me the other day. First time he ever played. We played five matches. Nice. Wait. He that's won four. The wrong link. Oh, that's the wrong link. 
Don't click on the link. It's a virus. I removed it, but okay. Actually, it's not a what, virus. Why? I'm just paranoid. <laughs> I accidentally that's an accidental link to an atheist program that I enjoy. Oh. Mm. Damn it! I want coffee. I'm sorry. If okay, go out there and say, hey, uh, Haley, could you please make us some coffee? Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so okay, Liam Wolf is there temporarily. Go. You got it up. Hey, uh, there, there's a. Uh, okay, do you want to read the news article then? Yes, I will Okey read. Doke. The uh, freaking thing. <laughs> uh, put my screen here. <laughs> so how was your week, Striker? Yeah, it was good. Good. Very good. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> we get into okay. it too much. Right. A great horned owl managed to avoid becoming roadkill in a swift maneuver that got it stuck on a 140-mile overnight trip road trip. Dang. The owl was under veterinary care and expected to make a f- was expected to make a full recovery. Very good. The Sun Centennial reported. That is pretty crazy, though. Like, I've, honestly, if you if you came out of your car to like to stop for gas or something, because you'll be stopping for <coughs> gas every 160 <coughs> miles or so, you look in there and there's an owl. You're like, oh, it's a dead owl. And then it starts moving. You're like, what the? <laughs> it's a, actually it looks like it looks kind of comfortable in there, just kind of hanging out in front of the radiator. Yeah, it does actually. Mm-hmm. I mean. I'm it jealous. might not have been that injured. It's freaking hot in here. But it is hot in here. In, insert, in insert overused joke here. I was just gonna say that. It's getting hot. In the- Sorry, ladies Sun- and gentlemen, but I'm just that damn sexy. <laughs> Sanji Coney Williams was driving her Ford SUV along Florida's Turnpike Tuesday, February seventh, when she saw the bird and the dark. In the middle of the road near Yeehaw Junction, it didn't, Yeehaw! It didn't move. It just stood there, and I couldn't stop. She told Sun, the Sun Centennial that night. She checked in a hotel, and the next morning, as she was driving off, a couple pointed to the grill on her SUV. She lost it. She said. I told them that I didn't want to see it. I knew exactly what happened. But the bird was alive, and Coney Williams called the Florida... Or to Coney Williams, whatever. Called the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. FCW officer Lex Cortegoir removed the SUV's grill and transported the feathered patient to the nonprofit center. The center's... Director Sherry Schroeder said the owl arrived dehydrated, dehydrated, but responsive. The sun, the centennial reported. The center plans to drive the owl back to Yeah Junction today. This time, however, it's going to be in a nice padded carrier. They will release the bird back into the wild. That's good. I mean, owls are great creatures, and I'm surprised that it survived in that grill for that long. I mean, I've owned Fords, and I know they get the engine gets very hot in a Ford, so I'm surprised how well that it lasted that long inside there. You see it there? It's just it's just kind of hanging out there. Yeah, just kind of hanging out. Wouldn't I mean, that'd be the creepiest thing, walking up to your car at, like, 5 in the morning and just see something big staring yellow eyes staring at you, at you through your car. That, I, I want fog lights like that. I'm trying to think, what movie was that it that the car came to life and was killing people? What was it? Christine. Yep, exactly. Right I there. I love that movie. That'd be the creepiest thing I've ever seen. It would. That was a Stephen King novel, you know. Yes, it was. And it was Stephen King. Great man. It was. Very good. Stephen King, he, this is basically the gist of him. He's like, oh, I got an idea for a for a thousand-page book. Done. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the only man that ever beat Stephen King would have to be Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, Edward, Edgar Allan Poe is the man. Great stories. Uh, crying out loud. 
<laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if it's the control and the thing on my We just need to get another keyboard monitor. or what, but this camera shot just decided to bloop, disappear. Uh-oh. Son of a bitch. Didn't that happen before the show? Yes, that then happened before. I, replay, I remade the thing. There we go. There we are. Yay, We're alive. You can we see lived. our beautiful faces again. <laughs> and my very sexy face. Yes. yes and we were able to do that without losing audio, so that was great. Yay. That was That's Save actually it. awesome that we could, mm. didn't lose the audio. Because I was actually Thank watching God. an episode of Furcast last week, and the, the video went down for just like a few moments, and everyone in the chat freaked out. Like, oh, my word. And they restored it like a minute later. <laughs> you know what that reminds that, me that of? Was, that was like the live... The, uh, live the, the, the Super Bowl? Uh, the thing that they were using to uh, mm. put it on live stream. You know what that reminds yeah, me of? Them going black. The Super Bowl that just happened. The whole stadium going oh, black. Oh, yeah. Insert Bane joke here. Yeah. No, what was it? Uh, <laughs> the 40... I thought a joke. The 49ers. Well, I know how we can win. Pulls the plug. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, there we go. Now, <laughs> no disrespect. I mean, every team did good that day. No disrespect, you know. Everybody put their fight in, and I'm a big, I'm a football fan, so whoever I support every team, they do good. And that's all that matters. But anyway, back to this owl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a cool story. Yeah, it is cool it's story, bro. Freaking hard. Shut up. <laughs> no, I mean, I, no, I wasn't making fun of you. I mean, like, come on, no. man. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just um, crush it with my boot later. Actually, we, we do have a, a couple of videos to show you. Do you want to? Kind of cut the news short and save the rest for for next time, yeah, and yeah. then show the videos. Mm-hmm. Let's have let's do. Let's that. see these videos. Okay, so okay, you guys are probably probably know about the Harlem Shake phenomenon that's going on right now. Nope. B- okay, basically, for those of you who don't know, uh, I.e. Liam Wolf. Uh, basically, on YouTube, it's a it's like a thirty second video, and everyone does their own version of it. Like, you know, it's like the do the hold them shake. And it's usually a 30 second video where one person in the room starts dancing. And then as soon as the, you know, beat drops, then everyone in the room starts doing crazy things. Well, just shut up and let them, want, let them see it for themselves. Well, uh, okay, go ahead. Con los terroristas. <laughs> Uh oh! I'm have this. Uh oh! That was a little fumble on our part. Yeah. Excuse us. <laughs> okay. okay, got it. Go on. Oh, and I was enjoying the video too. <laughs> well, we're, we're we're still gonna go see the video, but yeah, we there. forgot to switch there to the is. yeah that so the people on they were watching could yeah, see. Yeah, there it is. Now right. we got it. Okay, All right, ladies and go. gentlemen, enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's the Harlem. That's what every Harlem Shake video looks like. Um, no, I'm, I mean, I enjoyed the video, but I'm gonna keep what I said, what I'm thinking right now to myself. <laughs> that was um, by a YouTuber Camo. named Cameo. Cameo. Cameo, yeah. Basically, uh, me and Striker decided to look for Harlem Shake videos Kimo that are furry versions, and we're like, we found a bunch of them, but that was one of the best. Mm-hmm. Um, we do have another one. Do you want to look for it? Because the other one is even funnier, I think. It's yes. Okay, we have another one for you. Oh, it's it's amazing. Cool. It's so I'm awesome. I'm enjoying these. Please. These are the first time yeah. I've seen it. This is cool. I mean, this is just a furry version. Of these. They have like. Uh oh, did it pause? No, nah, it's just being. Yeah, you, YouTube is just being a douche. Your YouTube has internet. been doing this earlier. What do you say? Your internet. Uh, it might be my internet because my internet is doing janky <laughs> things. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. He <laughs> bagging somebody? Literally. Or is he tail bagging? I can't He's tell. Tail bagging. That oh. 
We just invented a new expression on this show. Yeah. Okay, I want to play Halo tonight. We all put in our name, and instead of teabag, it's tailbag. Ex- yeah. Yes. Uh, so tell your friends. We have a new ex- new. Actually, better yet, we're getting online tonight. We're playing Skyrim, and we're gonna go into werewolves. We're gonna tailbag somebody tonight. <laughs> that's uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> now I'm gonna go home playing Skyrim and tailbag somebody. <laughs> Can werewolves crouch in Skyrim? Fuck if I know. I'll find out. <laughs> it's like otherwise you just have to run back and forth, and the in the the werewolf is his tail would just if be anything, flapping. I'll just jump and land my nutsack right on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we invented a new term in the furry fandom. Tell your friends tail bagging. Tail bag, <laughs> bitch. Copyright clause and convo. No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> Not seriously. Do you have your tail? Yes. Tail bag the fox. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, not me! Not me! I can't get up right now because I'm. Pr- Later. Oh well. Tell you Anyways, what, it was a nice we'll, idea. We'll make a video for it it's and we'll show coming. it next week. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna make our own Harlem Shake Claws and Convo edition. Nice. You guys want to see that? That'll be great. We'll Why have not? it for you next week if we decide to do it. Yeah. So it'll I'll, be awesome. Hopefully, I can make it next week. Yeah, we could probably film it while you're here. Um. Say so do it. Wednesday, I think. Yeah, we could do that because then we can show it and be like, you know. Yeah. So, uh. <laughs> I mean, I want to make it, but I got to be at the police station working, so. Yeah. Danny the Porter, Danny the Border Cully says, so everyone always takes their shirts off? Um. If I have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's talking about the Harlem Shake videos. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I think, I don't, I don't know. People can't handle this. <laughs> they can't handle this much sexy. Yeah. Yeah, red versus blue. Uh, yeah, bow. yeah. I was just bow gonna chicka say, bow wow. I love that. Hey, hey, Griff. Just wanted to say, bow chicka bow wow. Now, I'm gonna say this right now. I want to give a shout out to Rooster Teeth. You guys are my favorite. Rooster Teeth yes. is awesome. I love all their videos. If like, none of you have seen Rooster Teeth, get on there, look up their videos, especially Red versus Blue if you're Halo fans, because oh, it's so awesome. It is quite. It is quite. Um, what are they at now? Season I have eleven or season? Even, tw- they're in season eleven, I think. Okay. I haven't even checked. They, they, I'm they so far just, behind. They, I think they're just about to wrap up season ten, unless they okay. checked. They yeah. just, yeah, I think they just wrapped it. I've always, I've always loved Red versus Blue because they were the first machinima. Yeah, they and were. They, yeah. they basically gave birth to an entire genre of. Shout videos. out to season one, best season they've ever done. Yeah, you know that there was a guy on there on the first season, one of the first episodes. Where he said they were talking about like I don't remember what they're talking about, but a guy randomly said, "I'm from Iowa. No one cares." Donut. It, it was it, yeah, it was donut, and like I'm that was Iowa. so funny. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, that's why it was so funny. Like we we're all from Iowa. We're like, that's hilarious. No one cares. No one cares if you're from Iowa. Does that mean that you farm corn and you're... no, no, it doesn't. Ride pigs. <laughs> yeah, we ride pigs. <laughs> no, we don't. Some people do. At the Iowa State Fair, they do some pretty crazy things. Have you ridden a pig before? I wish. Oh. Only in Minecraft. Only, <laughs> Only in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just Only, like, or, or if you get the mod for uh, Skyrim, you can ride anything if oh, you want yeah, to. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is a mod for Skyrim <laughs> where you can mount like anything. It's so awesome. I think my... Uh, brother's fiance. She uh, has a mod for her computer, and she was writing Rainbow Dash all over her sky. Really, that's yeah. so cool. Like a lot of. Or you I think, I think she did because she saw a video. I'm not sure, but that's another. There's problem. there's a lot of My Little Pony mods for Skyrim. One of them, my favorite one, is that it turns Fluttershy or the dragon into Fluttershy. All the dragons. So you'll see Fluttershy going around, and every time it roars, it goes, Yay! It's so funny. <laughs> it is so funny. Okay, I want that just for the part, because I can't ever find the damn dragon. I so all I have to do is hear, Yay! There it is. <laughs> I there honestly cannot even find that mod. I've tried everywhere. Can you imagine how much it's going to take to download that thing, though? It actually wouldn't take that much, because I've downloaded many, many no. Skyrim mods. You just basically download it. I still have it for the Xbox, so. Oh, yeah. So you'll have to mod your Xbox. Fuck so. that. Which, you, get, you get in trouble for that stuff. Yeah. We which, I mean, stuff. Xbox versions, you can't even mod it anyway. All right, like, where, where are we at here with time? I have no idea. Oh, we're 15 after. Yeah, so we got another 45 minutes okay, of talking about what we want, because this is... 
This is going to be another one of those disorganized shows that yeah. we have material, I'm but we don't the... talk about it. No. We just talk about whatever we want, which is actually a good thing. This is what this a podcast is. Talking about whatever open yeah. comes up. I mean... It's a conversation type show. This has been. Good. This is so far a very good episode. The I feel. Skype is. line is now open, so if you want to call in, the uh, Skype the, line. If you guys, there's yeah, the, uh, yeah. Let's so see there's the there's the name, um, clause and convo, no spaces, and you can also email us at uh, strikepod.studios at gmail dot com. Send us your suggestions, news articles, shout outs, money. questions, mm-hmm. money, any, <laughs> anything you re- anything you turkey want. basters. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <That's>, oh. <laughs> thanks for ruining that. Oh, I had no choice. I had, I had to. A little part of me just died. <laughs> yeah. A little part of me. What just if somebody <laughs> sends me an actual turkey baster? Hematite Bear knows my address because he was gonna send us brownies and stuff. Please. What if he sends me a turkey baster? Then we're gonna make a video of you using it. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Kenny! I was gonna go buy a turkey. Oh, <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> I hate you guys. You <laughs> perverted oh. motherfucker! Oh, I boy. take I, I take that to a very good level. Thank you, Striker. <laughs> yeah. Um. By the way, hematite bear. Uh, our condolences for your aunt passing away. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, Sorry about that, brother. Basically, he. He said that he would have sent him, but he was he was uh, kind of busy with his aunt passing away. So that's totally understandable. We get it. He said he'll try for next week. So cool beans. If we okay, if we get baked goods from from uh, Hematite Bear, we'll most likely eat them on the show, just like just so he can see us eating them and stuff. But we're gonna check first to see if there are any special brownies because I don't want to get stoned on the show. Maybe Y'all know I'll rush you first chance I get, right? <laughs> I know. I know you will, Kenny. Okay, maybe n- maybe not Striker. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like one of your best friends. Okay, fine. I won't arrest you. <laughs> I mean, not. I mean, I'm not saying that Striker isn't cool. I'm saying that you and I are like brothers. Mm, true. Okay, <laughs> I'll arrest Trey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's totally okay with me. Do you want? to... Okay, and I want to show wasn't a quick racist, video. I mean it. By, I mean it. Speaking of Trey, I want to show a quick video. Um, go, it's I on the desktop. Singing, I have Trey singing "Love." Nice. Yeah, I don't know if I can. I don't know if we can show it. Right I don't know if you can. Mm, let's. Just my uh, smartphone and kind of yeah. IPod. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's minimize this and go. Yeah. For the fu- like in the future, we'll have another another um, monitor, so we don't have to go through all these windows when we. You do oh. the hold em shake. Dun, bun, Next bun, time, bun, bun, for bun, bun, I have actually bun, bun, something that you guys might like. Video down. Or, yeah. I think I have videos that you guys might like next time. Okay. This is a video I took in the costume shop. My broom. My broom. It's gone missing. <laughs> is that Dorothy? <laughs> Dorothy has my broom. I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> And your little dog, too! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we apologize for the choppiness yeah. on the stream. I apologize. I love him so much. I he, love Trey. He, I mean, I, I'm so sad because I'll be gone in three months. And Yeah. I mean, oh crap. Wrong video. <laughs> but oh. no, I have videos for you guys next week. If you guys would be interested, the Atomo Bull Riding ah, that ooh, happened. Ooh, really? I've got five videos of the Atomo Bull Riders. Yes, really? see what just Eating. happened. Some of the best bull riders in America are we on this We should show video. it next time. I'll send you the video so we can put them on, because if I'm not here, I still want them to show, because there are some very good videos. And Your computer is broken. respect to all broken. the bull riders out there, that My is a dangerous job. Broken? What do you say was broken? I assume, I'm thinking your computer is broken, because that just happened again. It's, uh, I don't know. And we caught it on the stream. It what? We caught that, that time we caught it on the stream. We caught it on the stream? We we saw that. It's, everyone saw that. Everyone saw that. Exactly what happened. It just vanished. Crap. Oh, really? Are we still Is on? Is it working we, now? I fixed it, though. Yay! Okay. Good. Oh, boy, you gotta hear this. Hematite Bear says, uh, Border Collie is asking, you know, what it, what the name was. And Hematite Bear is like, it was Claws and Convo. And I was like, yep. And then Hematite Bear says, or pause and porno. <laughs> that looks like we Was he might... referring to me? <laughs> hold on. I'd love to know. Hold on, semen. hold on. 
Oh, right. We like it looks like we we're about to get a call from Danny the Border Collie. Sweet. Ooh. So, Danny the Border Collie, if you'd like to call in, give us a shout out. We'll we'll talk to you for a little while. Because last week we actually had Hematite Bear call, and it was really nice to talk to him. I know. Um, I was only here for a little bit. I'm glad I got to talk to him for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you did. There we go. All right. What's up? You are live on Claws and Convo. Hello. If you guys can... Uh, hmm. Yep, I can hear you. Yeah, I Here can we go. go. Okay, hello. How's hey. it going? Oh, well, that's a lag. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a lag? Oh, yeah, yeah. Turn. Just, just listen to us through Skype. Yeah, just like mute the the show or something. Yeah, because we just have listen a... through Skype. Okay. <laughs> My headphones are not. Which which headphone jack is mine? Okay, there we go. I muted. Uh, I was gone. Oh yeah, it's going oh, yeah. good. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to hear nice from to you. you. I like to hear yeah, from like our supporters. Supporters. Yeah, really awesome. I'm sorry I couldn't make it the last couple times. I had like stuff going on and uh, things. And Ah, uh, it's all good, uh, so, man. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh, I'm going to be back by, oh, six. I'm not going to be able to see, like, over an hour. So I'm like. Uh, uh. <laughs> you and me you both, and me brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor, yeah poor, poor Liam Wolf is not going to be here next time. So, But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's real nice to hear from you. Is there anything you'd like us to, like, discuss or talk about or any questions or shout-outs or anything? Uh, not really. I just uh, think you guys are doing a really, really great job. Oh, uh, with, thank uh, you. And stuff like that. I mean, uh, me and my friends have actually tried to get um, a gaming podcast together, but we never actually ever got to it. And then, like, uh, we're like, uh, so I'm pretty like excited that you guys actually got to be able to uh, set everything up and stuff like that. So. Yeah, this striker here is is amazing with this stuff. Like, whenever he comes in here and sets this stuff up, like two hours before the podcast. Same. There's nothing I can do to help him because I don't know mm-hmm. what goes in what, and you know, so, so it's all complicated. <laughs> from his gaming thing, I'm going to be starting up a channel as well on YouTube, game reviewing. I'm going to start reviewing games. That'll with be fun. Jordan and a few others. If you want to get in with us, oh, I'd love to. Like, I think our first one we're going to start off with is third person gaming, mm. or and that'll be great. Or cool. we're going to do role-play gaming. So, of course, my game for choice. First one I'm going with, Skyrim. Yeah. yeah. But So, hey, Danny the Border Collie, what do you what do you think about turkey basters and horse semen? Um, <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> this guy here it. is screwing with me so much, and I can't... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Stop it! You're, oh, you're gonna make me sick. I think it's a little late for that. <laughs> Anyways, dude, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, no, not really. All right, well, yeah, it was nice and talking to you. Like, you can call in next time if you want to. Um, call us, send us messages hey, on Facebook if you just want to yeah, talk. Email us, send suggestions, questions, or whatever you want. So, other than that, uh, we'll talk to you later and hope that you keep watching. Yep, see ya. Good luck. Yeah, see ya. Thank you. I like getting calls from people. I do too. It it's is very fun. nice. Yeah, and Danny Borkali, he was like one of the first people we had view in this show. He was like the first. He was even here before Hematite Bear, which is a oh, like nice. saying something. Like he was one of the first. I think he was yeah. he was in the chat room on episode two, which was cool. Like you know. Yeah, because I mean, I remember the first episode. We were really hoping strong. We were hoping, and now. It's only what the sixth episode, I think, and yeah, we've already got I, yeah. so many viewers now. I mean, I'm impressed how far we've got. I am. Actually. I'm happy. You I'm know. just. I'm just impressed with how much we've improved, mm-hmm. like podcast wise, like how well we do it now. Like when we first did it, obviously uncontrolled it wasn't chaos. The best. Yeah, like when we first did it, obviously it wasn't the best because we had never. That was the first time I've ever like even done a podcast. Mm-hmm. Period. But over time, you know, we get. We'll get better and better and better. Oh, yeah. And I mean, if, and eventually, you know, I mean, we can all keep doing this as long.
It's, I do have it on cr- this uh, this Creative Commons. Mm. So, so there is one thing I want to do, and
Man, just when we were sorry, uh, sorry about that. Just when we were getting into the emotional stuff. Okay. Did we? We're, no, we we didn't say anything when it was lost. I think. Oh, thank yeah, God. Well, I don't know. I didn't even know where it was when it was lost. <laughs> so we got any more calls or questions? Computers. Yeah, if anyone wants to call in, just say hi or something. Uh, it's fixed now. So. It's fixed. Yeah, so I would love somebody. I want somebody to come talk to us because, as you can see, we. Definitely I ran out need of perverted jokes. Stuff. I ran out of perverted fixed. jokes. <laughs> Liam Wolf ran out of perverted jokes. That's a first. Yeah, it is. That is a first. Because <laughs> you have an endless, like, a, you know, an endless uh, pit of yeah, we're, we're, we're jokes. Yeah, we were out for about 10 minutes. Are you we kidding? Were? Yeah. What? Uh, what? Uh, okay, wait. back to what we were saying. Okay, wait. Son of a bitch. Oh, my word. We're getting a new... Comp- I'm bringing mine next time. It's... I don't know what it's doing. Like, I honestly... Oh, man. How old's that computer now? I don't, I don't know if just, if just the way this, know, do I? this thing, this touchpad is set up or what, or if it's some of the cube here. But I don't know. It, with me having to switch windows every time I go into play a video or well, whatnot. And oh, well, we're just, back. We got so sound. Yeah, so what's what's the last thing you guys heard us talk about? Because we can start talking about the things that we missed, that they missed. So, Or if anybody wants to call us, that'd be great. <laughs> What? I, think, I like uh, talking to people. I like I meeting do like new talking people. To people. I, I, I can I can sum up the last ten minutes of that that uh, ten minutes of silence up in uh, various contagious conventions are awesome, mm-hmm. and everybody loves everybody. Yeah, and you guys are awesome. Yep, that's basically what we said. Like we're Crazy. happy, yeah. we have supporters, awesome. and I'm just glad that. Yes. Like all I want is for people to just enjoy it. Like I don't ask for anything back. So. Nope. Um, Say so we don't need money. We don't need. We just want people well, to watch we, and enjoy. We do it. need money, but we're yeah. not, we're not going to. No, rip we it don't expect it. Either. You know, we just we um, don't just send kinda... money. <laughs> Please, I will feel horrible. <laughs> I kind of will actually. If uh, it'll be different, if like a bunch of people. What we need to do pitch in a little bit. You know what? You know? I want to do this. How much do, do you think we could create an app on our phone on for phones it and sell take... for a dollar? Very long time. But imagine the money we'd make from it. No, none of us are programmers, though. We probably, we probably know. We can okay. probably find a programmer. Okay, well, that, easily, that idea's out the window. Bye. <laughs> we could yeah. find a programmer to program it for us. We could. We could. But, uh, but well, actually, I wanted your permission for this. Okay. I have been talking to Trey, and you know that documentary I told you I was working on, going to be working on. If I could post when I get most of it done, if I could post some of it on here. If it's political, we better not. Son of a bitch. Because. They, yeah, but um, you've heard my views though. Yeah, but. But I mean, no, I mean, politica- nobody's been against my views yet though. Oh, they will be. Trust me. Rep- <laughs> what? What party? What? Independent. Your- Good. Oh well, that makes sense. But uh, basically. I mean, we just try to avoid political. Yeah, I know. Here. I'm sorry. It's okay. Because if you would have said Republican, I would have ripped your throat out. Sorry, mm-hmm. independent. I and believe that everybody has their own views, but no, 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 no. This isn't political. This isn't political. Yeah. This is not a political show, though. So. I can't mm-hmm. talk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where were we? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just reading the chat here. Uh, <laughs> who's talking? Uh, looks like Harp's getting him. Harp's getting him a tight bear. Well, it will just come with my CPU, and then comments will be monitored. So he's like when when Harp's kid is on the show, we could mm-hmm. probably have you next week if if uh, if your parents say you can. You know, it'd be it'd be totally mm-hmm. cool. if you can get right over here. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, if you bring your laptop, you can monitor the chat for us because we we get distracted with discussions and seeing the coolest things while the audio was out that was depressing i know we were giving the heart we were giving a heart-filled conversation yeah and, and we just go black out yeah and hematite so, bear says he's working on finding us equipment that is real nice of him. are we sure bane isn't messing with our sound system today <laughs> Or Same anything. person that, that the lights in the Super Bowl went out. Like, Shit, we're the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, it was funny because every single person posted on Twitter or Facebook, oh, I bet Bane is going to come out and like do so." I got a picture something. of somebody actually oh, no. modding it 
Somebody <laughs> photoshopped the picture and made it look like Bane was talking to the crowd. Only the then you, I you saw that one too. I was like, I actually got the sad thing is I didn't know it was Photoshop, so I actually got on the internet and see if they actually had a Bane come out of the what? freaking stadium. <laughs> that would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. I was hoping for it. And then you will have my permission to hear things. <laughs> <laughs> Once you all succumb to my will. <laughs> Yeesh. So uh, we have Batman. About 23 minutes left. Um, I, I know we had some other. Okay, we can discuss this because okay. this is something that could take up a little while, but we can discuss it. We may. We, it's kind of a hit and miss. We may either discuss it for a little tiny bit, or we may discuss it for half an Just hour. Just like my freaking headphones. <laughs> So, here's the thing. I was on for, uh, the Fur Affinity forums. I'm on that a little bit more often now because I'm looking for topics. And somebody said, I, I feel bad because I don't remember his name. And I, I couldn't find the article. So, I wanted to shout out his name, but I couldn't. But basically, he asked the question. He's like, if you could turn yourself into a permanent anthropomorphic animal, would you do it? Like, if, say, if there was a button that you pressed that you, and you could never change back, would you do it? And I haven't even made a decision. It's it's like a really really tough thing. I wish to decide. you gave us time to think about that. We we should give us time I'd, to think about that. I'd want someone else to do it first. Yeah, be, that's honestly true. Happens. Because I want to. I would. I would think about. You know, I, I want them to tell me. It, it's the same thing as as reviewing a game or watching a review uh, of a game before you buy it. You know, because you want to see if it's worth the money. Yeah, I mean, would it be cool? Yeah, but for how long? That's the thing. Yeah, because you if would you just... can't change back, I mean, yeah, there are now, inconveniences there. Now they could make it to where you could. I'm sorry, but I'm going Twilight here. If you could change into your animal and go back to human form, that would be amazing. I would enjoy that. Now, completely changing myself for permanently, for like permanently. I mean. I mean, it's different to be an animagus, which is in Harry Potter. The people that can change from animal yeah. to human. And see, that's it. I mean, does it sound cool? Yes, but see, I think of uh, uh, I think he, of my family aspect when I do this. But here's so. here's the thing: if uh, you know, if we technology and uh, you know all of our devices, all of our uh, furniture was were, had kind of uh, evolved to the point where you know it, we wouldn't have a problem. Yeah. Then, yeah, I do. I do. Now, it. now you see. You also got to think about. They're talking change completely. Mindset. Everything is being changed. Mm -hmm. Your and, animal instincts will kick in, and, and if you're changed into something dangerous, oh sh crap. Yeah, and Hematite Bear says, and there would be discrimination issues. And would you re would uh, you a realistic or tunish? See, that's another one that you'd think because like everyone's definition of anthropomorphic animal is a little bit different. Like. Mm -hmm. So, mm, I don't know. See, some people might have think anthropomorphic as in just just a you know a f uh, an animal on all fours in its natural form, but can talk and has human emotions. I mean, That's, if we're going that way, um, I don't know if I would do that. It's honestly. it's still one of those touchy subjects. I mean, like he said with the discriminating. I mean, people would discriminate it against it, but you'd also have the people that go, oh, this is awesome. I want to try it. And but Danny see, the Border then, Co Sorry, go ahead. I but then that's you. also back to uh, what we discussed with the furry fandom, making it go local, go out local, mm -hmm. is um, it's going to be something that everybody wants to do, and then people are going to regret it. We, we, are, we are going over time a little bit, but we, well, can, we, can, we can keep going. I think, I think we can go until just about 7 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can go over, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if we're in a deep discussion, yeah. we can. And uh, Danny the Border Collie says, well, it all depends on if you can change into your fursona or not. And I agree with that because if I could, I probably would, honestly. Because, I mean, you know, this is this is what all the furries have in their heads, you know. So, But yeah. see, my, my, my fursona is just, it's, he's me, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's your mental state. Except honestly. more awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean... Well, I, the only reason I would love it is if I could talk and, you know, so I have my, my same mindset and everything. I mean, I could see this, like, you know, I'm big military. I could see that as a huge military Oh, thing. that'd be great. You could have animal instincts. You could just, I yeah. mean, imagine 
recon units being able to use that yeah being able to and blend in with the environment not even knowing oh crap uh there's a freaking blue jay wait what's a blue jay doing in africa <laughs> but you know something like that, that an yeah. african swallow exactly <laughs> but no i mean there are some Monty s- yeah. reference. but there Anyways. are some serious things that would be good for it there would be especially, i mean you know, i'm sorry for the person that gets stuck in pet food commercial but <laughs> you know, especially, especially you know you know in the arctic you know mm-hmm. someone and, uh, shoots a snow leopard would that'd be perfect it yeah. would and uh Hematite Bear also says, and would bestiality have to be legalized if you, if you were married when you changed? All right, and here's that's, the, here's a tough that's one. a tough one. That's yeah. a touchy subject. The, I don't uh, want to get into it. I don't, the, I don't. The, the, uh, the, uh, really, the, uh, the key thing that really uh, makes, be- makes bestiality is, you know, is it sentient. You know? And it, as if, if it's it, an innocent it, animal, it, innocent feral animal, you know. I think being... This, if it's a sentient being, as you know, a typical anthropomorphic would be. Yeah. It's you know it's it speaks our language. It, uh, it's, so it's it, technically it's, human. You yeah. know, it just looks like an animal on uh, the outside. Exactly. And that's what I'd think. I'd still think shapeshifter would just be better. Yeah, and just uh, because. Actually, yeah, Harps Kid talks about this, and he says, "What about if it was possible in the real world? How advanced would technology have to be?" Um, We'd definitely have I to mean, redesign chairs. And if you are married and you change into your Sona, Wolf, or, or and car Borg, seats. would you still be married? Yeah. See, I mean, it's such a touchy subject because you got to... It's kind of like uh, going to... When you're breaking the law, we'll go with this. Yeah. You got to think... It's not just yourself that... I mean, yeah, you... If you do it, you do it. But, I mean, you got to think of everybody's aspect of what happened to it. It's like, what does your family think? What do your friends think? What does everybody else think? And, and granted, yeah. it's what's important what you think. If you enjoy it, go for it. But it's kind of like I'll, it's kind of like doing drugs. What does it hurt everybody else in your family? That's actually a really good point. And plus it would be like, you know, someone said – uh, earlier, let's see. Uh, Hematite Bear said earlier, he's like, it'd be a discrimination issue. And also, I'd go further by saying it, you would have people afraid of you all the time. Like, because it, lo- it would look like a really, really convincing costume, mm-hmm. is what it would see, be. See, the thing is, like, back to the discri- like, people being afraid. Like, me, myself, when I shaved my head, I literally had some people tell me, you're, un- it's like, we're scared to approach you. We've known you for so long, but we're scared to approach you when you have a shaved head. Yeah, because you look so intimidating that we don't want that. It's scary mm-hmm. to talk to you, and it would be, yeah, it, you know, you know, it's also you know you can compare to you know, coming out as an atheist, you mm-hmm. know, as I have now. I mean, because you know, you know, you come out as an atheist, and oh, you have no morals. Mm-hmm. Well, no, because no, it's no, it's no, not that they no, don't have morals. Like, of, like, course, of course, that's a complete. Like, that's that's a, complete bullshit. But yeah. yeah. I mean, granted, when if it happened, it would become a new, it would become a religion, more than likely. It probably would be. I mean, right now, does anybody? There's people out there that believe the furry fandom is a religion too. Some people do. Like they, they get into it real, you know, which I don't really have a problem with. No, no, everybody, everybody, I believe has their rights, their views. They can do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. That is allowed. But if we did that, um, I could see it becoming a huge religion. People would instantly go for it. But then, like like I brought up the military aspect of it, mm-hmm. people now see that's the problem. People could use it for things that would be such a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Like the Panthers. Yeah. Pure black, stealthy. First thing that would come into my mind, like that's the discriminating. People discriminate once they meet somebody at the first time. That is one of the theories that I have learned that that is the first thing is the discriminatory theory. People mm-hmm. discriminate when they first see someone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so, like, say you're walking down the street and you see a panther, not 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 dissing, not dissing, <laughs> but you could think just mindset thief. thief. Mm-hmm. I mean, and Hematite Bear says if the opposing football team were all bears, claws and all, so what would be the civil rights civil right rights of the anthropomorphic animals? Please take down Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um. If they were all like, see that's oh, this is another thing. I, I would want to, you know education, you know education to kind of catch catch up with, you know, just make sure everyone is educated and just mm-hmm. let it, 
sink in. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It'll take a while for everyone oh. to sink it's in. Bill, Bill still can't figure out evolution. No. Mm-hmm. This, you guys, I just thought of this. People do it. What are the veterinarians going to think? What's going to happen to all the health ins- health insurance that goes up? Ooh. Because not only did you do it, you have the mindset of a human, but you are an animal. Mm. Are kind of like now, are you like what's what are you going to have to pay for health insurance? You're going to have to pay vet bills yeah, or are you going to have and another thing, what are you going to do for a job? Ooh. I could see dogs canine unit instantly. Well, yeah. But yeah. I mean, if you're a house cat, you just hang around in a house and stripper <laughs> <laughs> for the furry fed of kangaroo was... stripper. There you go. Wow. Yeah, I know. I just get in my mind. And Harps kid says, and if you think stuff farther, those singles in the pouch. Harps kid says, if you think farther through, what if uh, you over gener- What if over generations mixed with other species, it would it would cause a new line of human like species. And this is another one. It's Sandor. this is kind of undefined. You know, like. Is do are the genes compatible with each other or are they are they not? What would you well, think? It just depends on how well the science went into it. Just depends on how much theory and work that the people put in to make this happen. Mm-hmm. Um, could I see it happening? Yes. Um, can I see the dangers of it? Yes. <laughs> um, and I agree with them. I mean, holy crap! You know, you could create new species. I mean, that would be insane. I mean, heck. You have a bat and a freaking wolf go out. You got a liger. <laughs> and Danny says veterinarians Wait, no, are going to be wrong. paid as much as doctors. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, if you think about it, like you said earlier, would we be going to a veterinarian or a doctor or a special kind of doctor or exactly. both? No, both. Now, we've all seen uh, Underworld, right? Underworld? Mm-hmm. Revolution? I, I haven't seen it. No. Oh, crap. Okay, so basically, <laughs> when they found, like, if this happens, but say it's kept in secrecy. You know, it happens. Secrecy. Mm-hmm. But when the government found out in that movie that these things were alive, it's basically werewolves and vampires, they were hunted. What happens if the government finds out about it and it's a secrecy, but if you made it local and – but we'll go with the secrecy aspect. What's gonna, what's the government going to do? What's everybody going to do? They're are probably going to run tests on the person. Exactly. Are they? I mean, it's a huge gamble. Mm-hmm. If it happens um, – I would prefer shape shifting mm-hmm. any day, but yeah, be- I mean, obviously, I'd I'd wish I had the freedom to go back. Yeah, honestly, but- um, how about this? If you had the choice between doing that or becoming an animagus, like being a feral animal where you can't mm-hmm. talk, which one would you choose? I'd rather be able to talk still because I'm a very religious man. I love my family. Mm-hmm. I'd hate to do it and never get to see my family again because here I am. You know, I can't yeah. talk to them. I can't be with them. And and I, I, I can't. Do hold you them. maintain your intelligence with oh being a yeah? I yes, you do actually. It, it's basically I would imagine it'd be like on Harry Potter, where the animal still has the conscious human mind, mm-hmm. but they just can't talk like a human. You know, and um, that I would pick that because it's it's. I mean, it's a tough decision, but I would pick that because it would be really neat to just turn into a fox and just you know. Uh, if, if, if I could, uh, I've got this a character Brig. Mm-hmm. You've you've seen him. I think so. Yeah. He just he's a just big, gigantic, saber tooth war cat, mm-hmm. and he doesn't. He's he's like uh, highly intel- intelligent, and but he doesn't talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that would be badass. Yeah. And uh, the badass aspect, yes. I yeah. mean, I'm not everybody for whatever they want to do. I think it's cool, but uh, it's such, it's, a, touchy it's such sub- a it's like something you could talk about for hours. It's such honestly. a touchy subject because yeah. you really should have gave us a heads up on this one. <laughs> I didn't know we would be talking about it this in depth. Like we almost it's actually a hu- it's a huge topic. We're we're definitely going to need to need to continue this next week. Because mm-hmm. you know, we're Skype. ten minutes from having to close, and we still have a lot to talk about. I'm gonna Skype with you guys during the cast. That's we, what we, 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 we can do an, like an after show. Want to do that? Yeah. I will stop the recording, and we can just uh, keep going. No, keep going. We'll put it on for because like the because pre- a lot we, of people we can st- we can st- we can still say go check out uh, you know we can, st- we can still send people over there to uh, Friday Night uh, Tech. I don't 
don't know. I think we should just uh, keep it for next week because a lot yeah. of people like to watch Friday Night Tech, and they're they're gonna feel bad coming from oh, you that, know that's true. Yeah. Stopping stop on this SU to go watch Friday Night Tech, and they're like, well, I just missed the rest Friday of the conversation. FridayNightTech.com. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I really think we should continue it next week because we might uh-huh. even have another human guest that might have some insight on it. Yeah. Like, uh, we'll you know. bring in, like, Trey or something. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, we can go another five minutes so, or so. Uh, actually, we'll save that for next time. How about we go story time? Do you want to tell a story? Do you have a story first? I don't have a story. Uh, I'm trying to think if I have a story. Like I mean, we we always unconsciously forget about story time. We did haven't it, had it since the first episode. Did I talk episode. about the one where my dog knocked me out? No. Or was that? Did, I thought I talked about that in the first episode. Was where was that? Maybe you did, and I just I didn't. can't remember. I'll be right back. Okay, um, Striker needs to take a break, and me and Liam will entertain you. Okay. One Danny the Border Collie says, "Once upon a time, there was an ugly barnacle." <laughs> he was so ugly that everyone died. The end. That didn't help at all, Patrick. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm trying to think if I got anything. Um, I do miss story time though. It was it was kind of fun to. It like, works. I mean, we're just so stuck on this topic though. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Um, but we yeah. gotta save it. We gotta save it. Yeah, Hematite Bear says like p- points out that next week is gonna be a long show because Friday Night Tech is every other week, so we can go over as long as we want. Yeah. Next time. I mean, so, I would ask you this, and this is gonna be from the heart. This is gonna be a hard to ask, but mm-hmm. could you take me home after the podcast Friday night? Friday night. Yeah, and I'll you mean be tonight. A- no, next week. Oh, sure. If you, I can be here to help you guys out with the podcast, but then I need to get home. That'll be cool with me, because then you can be here. And then when my student loans come in, I'll pay you for gas for it. Oh, yeah. I'll give you 20 bucks. Cool. Or yeah, I totally would do that. All righty, so I'll be here next week, thankfully. Mm-hmm. My parents are going to be upset, but I can And Harp's kid says, hey, maybe next week a topic could be on furry hypnosis. What is furry hypnosis? I'm kind of wanting to know now. What the heck is furry hypnosis? Yeah, that's like I never even heard of it. Is it something? Okay, so I'm gonna take a wing at it. Uh, furry <laughs> hypnosis. What is it? Um, I'm guessing it's where your furry aspect, you're hypnotized so oh, much. Just I'm gonna interrupt you for just a second. Okay. I'm sorry, Danny the Border Collie. You are so cool. He noticed that this is Jay Naylor. What a man! I love Jay Naylor. Actually, um, here. Hi. Who's Jay Naylor? Who's Jay Naylor? He's like one of the best furry artists. Oh, the artist. So will you hold this up to the camera for me? This is actually a picture that I drew because I love Better Days like very much. Damn, making the guy with the busted leg do this. Mm. I'm sorry. Anyways, can you see it? Well, you shouldn't have. Well, you know. Anyways, yeah. Ow, hot, very hot. (laughs) Anyways, yeah, I, I drew that. I just like to hang him over my wall. But anyways, yeah, thanks for noticing that. So, hey, did we find anybody to draw my persona yet? Because um, you, you can know, get you, Gabby you, to do it. Yeah. Gabby drew my persona. It's hanging on the wall over there. Oh! <gasps> did you notice that? That's freaking awesome! Isn't it? I showed it like as soon as she got it. Nice. Basically, oh. we have a we have a one of my friends in acting class. She draws like anime very, and stuff. Very very well. She found out as a furry and drew my drew my uh, persona for me. It was cool. Wonder because I want my military wolf. I mm. want him. And uh, yeah, Harpskid says, for hypnosis is so you can see yourself as your persona. It's as effective uh, to an extent. Yeah, I. That's that's something I've never even heard of. Like, I'm sure it could happen. Because it's what you look in the mirror. Well, that and see that, that kind of goes sort of along the lines of theorism. Yeah, a little bit. That is actually. Because Therianism is a really deep subject. You know, you, it's another thing we could talk about for hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, next week next week uh, yeah <laughs> next week we'll just ha- we'll just do subjects next week just you know mm-hmm. no like if we can we'll have some new news articles just in case but we can just do this mm-hmm. because we have so many heated talks that we need to get through because unfortunately I don't think Mason will be here next week again because he has to perform the producers oh yeah that's right uh, Mason uh, Hanske next week is is going to be doing the producers what what days is that again? Like, hi, Andrew. <laughs> no, that was Toby. Toby. Go away, Toby. Nobody wants you. Uh, I think it's the 21st, 22nd, or is it 22nd, 23rd, 24th? It's something 22nd, like that. 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Okay, yeah, so days. we got time. Like, we, 
uh, anyways, we're going to go see Hanske perform The Producers, which is a uh, really good production. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a Mel Brooks musical. Yeah, it's going to be very good. It's it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see it. Hanske has worked his butt off. Yeah, he has. He's the reason he's not good here, actor. like we said earlier, the reason he's not here is because he's working right now on The Producers. Yeah. So, but it's going to be... How much time we got? Four minutes. Oh... We were going to have guests, weren't we? We were. We were going to have Trey McIntosh again because I... Okay, Jay, the guy that I tried to have two weeks ago, uh, actually last week, still couldn't make it this week. And I'm having trouble finding human guests that actually want to do it. What's with Jordan? uh, I don't know. Like, Jordan, I mean... Right, he'll scare away everybody. He'll scare people away and he... I don't know. He'll, um, he'll just sit there and just make comments about how weird the stuff is we're talking about. Oh, please. Like, well, if he does anything, we'll just smack him mm-hmm. or punch him. Um, or leave him the striker striking can take care of him. Yeah, Harp's Kid says, I w- yes. so was I your only email? Uh, yes, you actually were. Yeah. Because we have a lot of viewers, but people don't send us emails. They're real shy. Yeah. They, mm. You know, just ask, a que- ask us questions or topics or mm-hmm. something. You know, if you're watching this and you even remotely enjoyed it, do not feel um, like feel obligated to just send us an email whenever you yeah. have any concerns. Add questions. us on Facebook. Talk to us. I'm on. I'm on Facebook. If you guys can find me easily, it's Kenny Graham. Mm-hmm. Just so in case you couldn't read that, it's like Striker uh, Strike Paw Studio Strike Paw Studios at Gmail dot com. So yeah, hey, check this out. Whee! Ooh, nice. Oh, I'm flying. Woo! I think my ears just ruptured. <laughs> oh boy. So we got two more minutes. Um, I'm bored. Do we well, want to? Do we want to do the outro? Let's cool. let's uh, let's cut it uh, cut it off here. Uh, okay. So um, thank you guys very much for watching. Do you have anything to say? Um, I have nothing to say. Do you have anything to say? Thank you for turning in, and don't forget the turkey baster. <laughs> <laughs> I have been your host, Striker Chigwire. And I have been your wonderful foxy host, Dante Headfoot. I have been your ultimate leader. Liam Send Wolf. us emails. Thank Please you for watching. You. Peace. What was with the peace? Now some days I feel like I'm a computer. Yeah. That was an awesome program. You. Another one. Like, yeah. Blue screens of death. My inhibitions are gone. Blow my outlook on life and move on. I was sluggish up until my first day. Now the past is defragged.